Hi guys! So I'd like to share a poem book by one of my favorite authors. Um, I really got into him as a kid. Um, his name is Shel Silverstein. It's written and illustrated by Shel, Shel Silverstein. And this book is called Where the Sidewalk Ends. And it's a bunch of different stories, short stories and poems. Um, and he has some really cool drawings in here too. So I'd like to share a few different poems. Um, there is... So the first one is called Jimmy Jet and his TV set. So Jimmy Jet and his TV set. I'll tell you the story about Jimmy Jet and you know what I tell you is true. He loved to watch his TV set almost as much as you. He watched all day, he watched all night, till he, ta till he grew pale and lean, from the early show to the late night show and all the shows in between. He watched till his eyes were frozen wide and his bottom grew into his chair. And then his chin turned into a tuning dial and antenna grew out of his hair. And his brains turned into TV tubes and his face into a TV screen. And two knobs saying vert and whores grew where his ears had been. And he grew a plug that looked like a tail and so he plugged little Jim in. And now instead of him watching TV, we all sit around and watch him. So this is what an old TV looks like. You used to have to turn dials to make the picture look good. Here's another one called Pancakes. Pancake? Who wants a pancake sweet and piping hot? Good little Grace looks up and says, I'll take the one on the top. Who else wants a pancake fresh off the griddle? Terrible Teresa says, I'll take the one in the middle. I just have a couple more. So this one is called Boa Constrictor. Oh, I'm being eaten by a bow constrictor, a bow constrictor, a bow constrictor. I'm being eaten by a bow constrictor and I don't like it one bit. Well, what do you know? He's nibbling on my toe. Oh gee, he's up to my knee. Oh my, he's up to my thigh. Oh fiddle, he's up to my middle. Oh heck, he's up to my neck. Oh dread, he's up to my... Oh, no. He got eaten. There's one more that I need to find. Sick. <clears throat> I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the bumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry, I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as big as rocks. I've counted 16 chicken pox. And there's one more, is that 17? And don't you think my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue, it might be instamatic flu. I cough, I sneeze, I gasp, I choke. I'm pretty sure my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin. My belly button's caving in. My back is wrenched, my ankle's sprained. My appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold, my toes are numb. I have a sliver in my thumb. My neck is stiff, my voice is weak. I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up my mouth. I think my hair is falling out. My elbow's bent, my spine ain't straight, my temperature is 108. My brain is shrunk, I cannot hear, there is a hole inside my ear. I have a hangnail and my heart is... What? What's that you say? You say today is Saturday? Goodbye, I'm going out to play. I hope you guys enjoyed my little poems. Like I said, this is one of my favorite books when I was little. Um... I also have all of them. <laughs> 
Um, so if you guys like this book, I can always read more. Just let your teacher know. Bye!